Regulators at the FDA say they have found no red flags that would stand in the way of authorizing Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine on an emergency basis. And the agency released a detailed analysis of the drug today. For the first time, ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth on what this new data reveals. The 53-page report from the FDA confirms what Pfizer claimed last month, that the company's COVID-19 vaccine is 95% effective at blocking the coronavirus. But government scientists took things a step further and confirmed the vaccine was highly effective across age groups, races, and risk factors, scoring better than 91% just about every way the data was sliced. The news is really outstandingly good in terms of efficacy. It's, it's kind of uh, almost a dream come true. To among some of the people who are most at risk, like adults who are over 65 and obese, the vaccine was a stunning 100% effective, meaning no one who got the vaccine got sick, only the volunteers who got the saltwater placebo. When you just compare it to the influenza vaccines, that's only about 40%, 40% to 60% uh, uh, efficacious. So getting 90% and above, approaching 95% in some groups is just uh, you know, staggering. Pfizer's vaccine is administered in two doses, three weeks apart. The FDA's review found the vaccine kicked in after 10 days, and just one dose reduced cases by 52%. That could spark discussion about how to allocate scarce doses. However, UC San Francisco's Dr. Peter Chin Hong says there are too many unknowns to skip the second shot. We don't know how long that protection would last and given the history and experience with other vaccines we know that you get a more durable response and a durable level of antibodies after a second shot. The FDA also examined side effects in detail. Regulators found mild to moderate side effects are common, and they typically resolve in a day or two. 84% of people had a skin reaction at the injection site. 63% felt fatigue. 55% had a headache. Other side effects included muscle pain, chills, joint pain, and fever. These are things you expect from a vaccine. It actually means that it's working. People say, I got the from the flu shot. That doesn't happen. That's your immune system sort of learning on that vaccine how to fight that, uh, that virus. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego points out there is no way to get COVID-19 from the vaccine itself. The FDA also looked for signs of any serious side effects in the trial of 44,000 volunteers and noted there were four cases of temporary facial paralysis called Bell's palsy in the vaccine group, and there were no cases in the placebo group. However, the numbers were so small, the FDA said the cases could have been caused by something else. Bell's palsy is temporary and treatable. The agency concluded that there were no specific safety concerns identified that would prevent an emergency use authorization. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Pfizer's vaccine will go up for a vote by an advisory group to the FDA on Thursday.